going to have any game magic here, and welcome back to some more New Super Mario Bros. U. Where in the last episode, we tackled the first, the very short first half of, New, of Sparkling Waters. In this episode, we're going to be taking the rather extended second half of Sparkling Waters, which contains, I believe, five levels. So, let's just get into it, starting off with everybody's favorite kind of level, a ghost house. A haunted, sh a haunted shipwreck, more like. We're going to, we don't have any mushrooms. Eh. We'll just go with that one. We don't need a mushroom. Okay. And, yep, these guys are back. The fake blocks that try to attack us. Let's jump in through here. Grab a mushroom from this block. And any more blocks trying to attack us. That doesn't look like a jump off of the platform we can create here. Another one here. To get your way up to the top. And then drop onto this pole, or just miss the pole entirely. Ideally, you want to try and hop in between these poles. That that block right down there is a fake. Don't trust it. And like so, drop into this secret area right here through the path I just described to get the first star coin, and then go through the store. And this is where we're gonna find our second star coin. This this uh, cube block right here, or cube block question block right here, actually isn't a fake. Don't get hit by any of the booze. Boos are immune to fire flowers. Eh. Eh. But the only reason you really want a fire flower in this level is to get the bonefish um, right there. Or okay, well now it's pointless. Uh, jump up from down here to get the second star coin. Uh, you 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 only want a fire flower in this level to deal with the bonefish or just to have a level three protection. Beyond that, though, it's kind of pointless. Now, the third star coin is directly above us, but I think we need to get a running start to get, yeah, okay, to get it, so let's get back, take a jump, and we wall jump our way up here, and the third star coin awaits. Okay, now this is indeed one big confusing mess, but don't you worry, for Dr. Magic is here to guide you through. So, what we're going to do is we're going, we, we're going to need to, nope. Oh, the, we're gonna go for the secret exit first, which I think is the exit that they want you to find. It seems like, um, especially with World 3, the, the Frozen World, they make the, um, f with the with the Frozen World Ghost House in World 3 of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, they made the secret exit really, really obvious to find, um, and I think they made the, the regular exit kinda hidden. Or it may not have been worthy, it would have been one of them, but th this door right here is going to lead us to the hidden exit. So let's just get a running start, go up through the green pipe. Oh! This doesn't lead us to the hidden exit? What? I thought this led to the hidden exit! I was completely wrong. They learned from the error of their ways, and they made it so that the hid the hidden exit actually is more hidden than the regular exit. I was just remembering the Super Mario Brothers Wii, and was thinking, sorry that I'm turning away from the mic, I'm trying to get to the gamepad so I can platform my way up here, jump between these platforms, walk my way up here, here's the hidden exit. I was just remembering New Super Mario Brothers Wii and thinking how easy it was to find the hidden objective, and I thought, or hidden exit, I thought, Maybe, I thought I just remembered it being the same for this game, but apparently that was not the case. So this is the hidden exit, the red pipe, which I guess would make more logical sense, but what you gonna do, I suppose? So this is gonna take you to the hidden exit, which I'm guessing is what most of you came here to find, um, at least for this level, because the star coins are all in really obvious places. It doesn't... Oh, I forgot about this. Jump on top of these platforms to get... Oh, I, I guess it wouldn't have helped because there were no enemies to get rid of you. Alright, so let's equip one of our few acorn- actually, um, do I want to use it now? Nah, we'll just use a regular acorn. I want to show off the Aladdin acorn suit at some point, but I, I want to save it for some of the later worlds when things get really tough. I don't think we need to use it for this level, it's a pretty simple level, and it's actually a kind of cool level. So let's do Sparkling Waters, 
Skyward Stock. Sky or Sparkling Waters Dash Leaf if you want to. This, again, is one of those levels where the star points are pretty obvious, so I don't need to give too much explanation as to how to find these guys. Um, since they're all pretty much right out in the open. Basically, the main challenge of this level is just to stay ahead of the camera and to avoid the waddle wings, which should be pretty easy with your waddle wing suit. So, let's just try to not be a fool, foolish fool with this. And try and get the Red Ring Bridges if we can. I think that's it. Yep. It's a one up for us. Thank you. And the first Star Coin is going to be up here to our left, I believe. Am I correct in that assumption? Yes, I am. Thank you. And we're going to pounce on your head. Th thanks, Waddle Wing, for letting me pounce on your head. And now the second Star Coin is just going to be a little bit further up. Let's pop these balloons like so. And then pounce on the Goombas in the most brutal way possible. Thanks for the free coins, Pipe. You're so nice, and the second star coin is right above this pipe axis, so let's jump on top of you, and you, and the second star coin is right up here. Just kind of walked into that one. Hey there, waddling. Oh, shoot. Uh, hmm. Oh, no! So, I was... I ate my words, I said this is an easy level, and then I fell off the edge like a moron. The, the third star coin's right above our heads. Like, literally, it's right up here. Just like, just like I said, let's try and... Bound our way off this wall, back onto the main beanstalk without hitting any of these guys. Pipes up here, if I remember correctly. No, not up here. Oh, it's in the center of everything? No, I could have swarmed still. Or do I have to just... Oh, I just have to jump up to the next section? Yep, I just have to jump up to the next section. Alright, now if you want an extra 1-up, uh, you want to head up here and they're going to have a find a hidden block right... Why can I not find this hidden block? Oh, actually, do I want to risk it? Let's risk it. Oh, I, oh, I shouldn't risk it. Oh, I shouldn't risk it. Ah, got it. Oh, dear. Nope. Nope. <laughs> There's the. There's that one up. There's that one up I was after. Whew. That was intense. Oh, yeah. Mario time. We now have direct access to Rock Candy Mines, but again, this is a 100% walkthrough, and so we are going to be continuing on with Sparkling Waters. So let's head back the way we came, and continue along with Above the Cheap Cheap Seas, the third, I guess, well, Sparkling Waters dash th I, why didn't I wait? It's fine. We will persevere. Just gonna pounce on top of you. What's in here? Invincibility Star? Invincibility Star. Let me get you, and this may have been a waste. Oh, wait, no, they, they, they loop around. Okay, so that was not a waste at all. And in exchange, we had another Invincibility Star, otherwise known as the Nabbit, the, the Nabbit dealer with her device, because Nabbit's invincible to everything, so may as well make ourselves invincible to everything. We got four stars, and he's going to appear, let's see, Frosted, Soda, Rock, Meringue, and Peach, does he, appear, does he appear in Washington Peach? If he doesn't appear in Peach's Castle, then we have enough for the rest of the uh, series. But until then, let's do Level of Sparkling Waters, Dash 3, above the cheap, cheap seas. And no, Baby Yoshi would not make things better. He would make things worse. Alright, let's ride our way up to the top. And just in case you want it, there is, I believe, an ice flower in here. Or Yoshi? Okay, Yoshi. Not an ice flower. I don't know why I thought there was an ice flower in here. Yoshi's going to be pretty helpful for this level. Um, for instance, there's the star point right here. And Yoshi gives us a bit more mobility speed, so we're going to jump down here with him. Go here, run up. I'll demonstrate that one more time, just for the sake of clarification. Jump up here, dash, run up, and grab the star coin. And then we're going to drop down. No, Yoshi! Oh, for crying out loud. Well, there goes Yoshi, my friend. My intention was not to lose you so soon, but I guess all good things must come to an end. And are we going to get another Yoshi out of any of these blocks? No? Alright, fine. Have it your way. And wait, is the second star coin down there? No, it's no, it's down here, not, not down there. It's right here. Yep, I was trying to get that game. Actually, is there another Yoshi here? Ah, Yoshi! Yoshi! Now let's get down here before the guys are rich. Are you kidding me? 
That's more like what I had in mind. But I need to... Uh, nope, Yoshi, nope. Don't mess with my plan. I need to actually demonstrate this. Stand on here once the geyser falls, run over here, and then slide back as you grab the star coin and get up here to get ready for the second geyser to pick you up. If you time this correctly, should work out, I'll do it one more time. Grab it, slide back, and then the geyser's gonna take you up to the top. And I'll, I, I guess I should have slid a bit more. Drop down, run with the right, hold left as you hit the wall, and then slide back into position for the geyser. You do that so that there's just enough time in between you hitting the star coin and you um, hitting the orange block. Because if you don't know, I'll demonstrate after I complete this, this green gold generosity or whatever I called it in the last Yoshi again, really? Ugh. I'll stand on here. These things do not last forever. They're going to fall. They, they give under weight after a certain amount of weight. Or a certain amount of time, I guess I should say. This third star point's coming up right around this corner, I believe. We got, yep, we gotta get into that pipe. So get, get it down as low as it can go. Cheap, cheeps. Oh, good. Nope. Nope. So if you don't have a Yoshi or an Acorn, you can, or a Waddling Suit, I mean to say, you can just use platforms to get your way down here. And then once you're in here, we're going to use the POW block very carefully to jump up onto this orange platform, put down onto the orange platform, land on this left-hand block right here, and then grab the star coin immediately. Because you can see, the coins actually have weight to them, so they can, they, they lower these platforms down. So you want to grab it quickly before the platform drops. And that is pretty much the level completed. I believe the end of the level is right around. Yep, this is the final push to the end. We just gotta jump over almost all these cheap cheeps and platform our way to the top. Duh. One up is ours. Oh yeah, Mario time! Here, take this! Whoa! Hey, we got another acorn! The thing we get the most of and need less of. No, Baby Yoshi would not make this next level better either. So let's wait for the- nope, nope, no cheap cheeps. Okay, I'll take that. Let's run across as the cheap cheeps go away, and Urchin Shoals is up next. Okay. So as you may be able to imagine, this place is filled with urchins. Urchins are not friendly things. Um, I'll grab a mushroom here, but I'm going to be ditching it in a second, because I'm going to be swapping this out for a mini mushroom. Why do I need to swap it out for a mini mushroom? Well, as you may be able to expect, there's a star coin that depends on it. So what we're going to do is stand on this block right here and then drop down into the second area. Get rid of this urchin wall. Oh, it's immune to shells. Forgot about that. All right. So we're going to hit this mushroom, and then we are going to jump out and drop down into a lower area so we can run on top of the water because if we're, because we need, to, we need to be able to run on top of the water because there are urchins down here. You want to hold the dash button as mini Mario and then... We'll also run up and run up this waterfall into this pipe subsequently, which will take us into the next section, which will lead us to the second star coin. So it's one nice fluid motion. You need to be mini Mario so that you can run on top of the water, because um, as regular Mario, you unless you have an invincibility star, you can't get that uh, power star because you just die by the urchins. Um, and then if you keep holding dash as mini Mario, you can get up here for the second star coin in one fluid motion. So that's pretty nice. Um, so now, we just need to wait for Mini Mario's next time to shine. Don't kill- uh, Okay, we, we hit the midpoint this time. So, if we die, which is likely, we will be able to back out and come back. Because Mini Mario is not needed for the rest of this level, we're gonna actually grab this Koopa shell right here or not. That's nice, okay. Well, we're gonna use this one instead. And what I like to do is wait for this first set of versions to pop up fully and then throw the shell down and it will, sh it will destroy the rest of the shells. And then run along these as, Mer as regular Mario and you can enter the pipe. Now we're going to wait for the right opportunity to grab the star coin and then dash through. And that is all star coins collected for the level. Just one final push to the end. Jump up! Nope! Oh, are you serious? 
Okay, there we go. That's more like what I had in mind. Get rid of these guys. Okay, nope. We're gonna stop right there. Thanks. Please don't go away. Oh, that's sick. No! No, boy! That took way longer than it should have. Mario time. Yeah. Alright, just two more levels left in Sparkling Waters, and then we will be able to move on to Frosted Glaciers tomorrow. Let's go to Dragon Hill's Undersea Grotto, which is quite the pain. Why is it a pain, you may ask? Well, it's a pain because there's, you've got a giant dragon eel chasing you the entire time. And by chasing you, I mean chasing you. It is a heat-seeking dragon eel. It seeks your body heat. And if you don't know what I'm talking about just yet, just give it a little bit. I'm sure you will. Ugh. Oh, yep, there he is. There's our friend, the dragon eel. How you doing, buddy? They're gonna wait for you to circle around and then push. Oh, right, hi. Nope. How you doing, buddy? We're gonna use the platform to block the wind, the water coming out of the thing, and then you, and then the dragon eel should come up to bla uh, to try and catch you. Oh dear! So, and that's gonna get rid of the platform, and then you can use that to blast you out. It's gonna circle around and try and get me. Please go away, tail, so I can escape before it tries to bite me. Ah! Now we. Hey, hi. How are you doing? Uh, boost me. We need to actually use you right up here to get the second star coin. Please no. No, don't care touching me just yet. Come on. Bust it open. No. Oh, dear lord. Fine, let's do this the other way then. Okay, no, we're not going to do it that way. We need to power up quickly. Ah, not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Oh, what? Not fair. Oh, okay, good. It's still there. We can bust through. Oh, wait, she doesn't break the blocks. Okay, never mind. So my strategy wouldn't work. I thought I had to use her to break the blocks, but apparently we just need to be Super Mario to bust through the blocks. It would be cool if we had to use her to break the blocks. It would have been a smart, creative way to solve the puzzle. And this might be what does us in. Oh, that's going to be my greediness. Yep, 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 yep. She's going to come for me. Oh, nope. Nope, we escaped. Give me that fire flower. Give it to me. Make me a level three so I can... I'm safer. Oh, you had to do that, didn't you? Ugh. Well, let's get into this red pipe and grab the third... Grab the third star coin, which is just down here, but I think the dragon eel is going to come get us, so we got to quickly grab it and then run, grab it and run. Oh, hi. Yep. That's what I thought. Shoot. All right. No. Come on. Come on. Wait for those hills to surpass you and then run. Okay. That's it. We are, I believe, good because the exit pipe is right up ahead. We would have to be really, really bad at this game to die right here, especially when we're level 2 Mario. So don't circle around and bite me, please. I don't want to be bitten. I want to stay alive. Okay. Okay, exit pipe's right here. Run! Run! Hey, how you doing? Oh, I, I was going to stand there at the edge of the pipe and turn around and just taunt her for a second and run away. But no, that didn't work out too well. And one up is not ours. Okay, that makes me sad. Alright, so before we go take on Larry's Torpedo Castle, we're going to go to the Mushroom House, or the Toad House. Same strategy as last time. Uh, we're not we're not going to go for the Fire Flower. I want a more neutral weapon. We're, I'm going to go for the Mushrooms. Get rid of you. And then you are safe. That should be good. Give me that pink one. There we go. And we're all good. Same strategy I used before, keep my eye on the Bowser, and but memorize where the times two and the pink one that I want are, so that I can grab those quickly. So just keep my eye on what guy. Hmm, let's just let's discard the ice flower because I think mushrooms are more versatile than ice flowers because mushrooms can just get us up to a level two Mario, whereas ice flowers are typically for a specific occasion. We may have to start ditching. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's. Uh, let, mm, nah, we'll save. We'll save for frosted glaciers. Use one of these mushrooms. 
Since we actually are going to get a mushroom right off the start of the level, right here. And, and if you were level 2 Mario already, this would have been an ice flower for you. So, we're going to crawl in between these fire spots right here. And also, you'll notice, these aren't those aren't bullet bills. They look like them, but they're torpedoes. And they're much more dangerous than bullet bills are. So we're going to wait for the fire to stop. And then once the fire stops on the top, we're going to wall jump off this left wall, grab the star coin, and then drop down before we are burnt alive. That would not be a pleasant way to go out. There's only one star coin in this first section, so get ready to go underwater. And now it's time for us to finally learn what these torpedoes are really like. Before we do that, let's grab this ice flower. You'll see initially they're not too bad. These guys actually aren't that bad. But wait till we get to the heat-seeking torpedoes. These guys are stupid. They're, they just move in one programmed path movement, and you just kind of have to avoid them like this. So they're not that bad. Um, you can freeze them, by the way. It's just that they don't freeze for very long. Um, but it could be a strategy to freeze one, and then have it, the people behind it run into that frozen one and then get destroyed. And now the second one is just past this midway point. And actually, what I like to do, and I think I did this in the walkthrough, which, or I mean the initial walkthrough, which may or may not have done me in, because I think I kept failing and had to keep replaying the level. Um, I like to go around here, wait for this guy to pass, drop down, hide here, and then wait for one of these torpedoes to pass. Once the torpedo passes, go in behind the torpedo and spam the two button to keep up with it, grab the star coin, slip in between one of the more torpedoes, and then grab the midway point so that we are safe. Um, the reason I, do, I like to do that before grabbing the midway point, midway point should be obvious, but in case it's not, is that I have two star coins should I manage, should I manage to die and don't have to grab the star, second star coin again. That's the reason why I do it. Um, I, I think, I think it's a, it's a good strategy. Okay. Let's grab this red ring, which is, because why not? Are they, are they not heat seeking? I could have sworn we were going to run into heat seeking torpedoes in this level, but I guess I was mistaken. Alright, one up mine, thank you very much. Okay, we're good. We are safe, we are perfectly fine. I guess it's just the mass abundance of them that makes them a bit annoying, but we haven't had too many problems with them yet. Yeah, I guess they're oh maybe it's um the water world level in level in Mario Wii that I'm thinking of. Okay. So I believe it's the third star coin's right up here. Above this flame. Above the central flame is where the third star coin hides. Once you have that, we're done. We don't need any more star coins. No, uh, okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine, actually. Why am I getting cocky? No, okay. Let's just drop off, get away from there. And here's the exit door. And that gonna get a mushroom. Wait. Is there no? Could have sworn that there was something by the exit door. Huh. I guess I was mistaken. Maybe. No, because I could have sworn there was something here. Yeah, there is. There's a mushroom here. Well, I mean, there, it, there would be a fire flower there if we were level 2 Mario, but... Ah, uh, what are you going to do, I suppose? <laughs> There's Larry. They One thing I like is that... I mean, it's it's a minor detail, but they mixed up the order of the Koopalings, and it's not just the exact same as in as it was in Mario Wii. We, it's a it's a minor detail, but it makes it less of a carbon copy, even though it is kind of what it is. It's just the same basic gameplay with a few few new tweaks, few new power ups, and a new coat of paint. All right, so these guys. First thing you want to do is run over him, to, run over to him immediately, and get a pounce off of him. You want to keep your eye on these geysers so that you can try and predict where that shell is going to be. Because if you aren't prepared for it, it can catch you off guard. But at the same time, you can also use it to prepare for the shell for when it comes back up and pounce on Larry when he's least expecting you. But you still need to be cautious because if you're not, oh dear, grab some on him. Okay, there we go. Um, if you're not if you're not cautious, then the shell can sneak it from behind you, go up the geyser, and then catch you off guard. You got all the star coins and sparkling waters. That's gotta mean something good, right? 
Uh, of course it does, but we can't find out for a few more weeks now. Save the game, yes please. Saved. That is Sparkling Waters 100% completed too. If we wanted to, we could go to Soda Jungle right now, but we don't want to do that. We want to complete Frosted Glacier first. Because again, this is 100% walkthrough. So, let's just go back, avoid the cheap cheeps, and prepare for the next episode. So, in the next episode, we are going to be tackling the first half of Frosted Glaciers. Or Frosted... Is it Frosted Glacier? Okay, it's Frosted Glacier, not Frosted Glacier. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, this has been Gaming Magic 13. Signing off saying, hope you have a fantastic Oracle day. And I will catch you all next time for some more New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Or you. Goodbye.